Hey guys, Andy Musa of Fresh Source Farms here. Uh, I was actually working on building some shelves today and I figured I should probably share with you how we do that in-house. Uh, I'm, I'm a former IT guy, so wire management is a big thing for me. I go through a lot of zip ties, so uh, let's get into it. Okay guys, so this is the shelf I just finished building. Uh, we basically put ours roughly about eight inches apart, nine inches apart, depending on the uh, shelf spacing. So we try and make uh, enough room, you know, for the microgreens have plenty of space to grow. Uh, but we're also using T5s and that's what allows us to do that. So as you can see, we've got two T5s mounted on each shelf. Uh, we usually put them right inside of these little bars right here. So in this case, there's a bar on each side, just on the outside. Uh, that works out really well. Uh, these shelves are actually from the restaurant store. We're able to buy all the parts, all the parts in uh, separate pieces, so we can get the shelves, the poles, the wheels, everything else, all individually done. Uh, one cool thing that we do, and it's a little bit different than I've seen a lot of people do, is we actually put the surge protector on the top. Uh, we do that on purpose so that way the electric's out of the way so when we're watering we don't accidentally get any water on the electric uh, and then we actually do our switches kind of down the side here so you can see each one's mounted uh, they're all tied off and we also put actual pluses and minus holes on there so basically this means on that means off uh, and then we actually put the number of the shelf on each side as well so and that references over on the opposite side here where you can see I've just got a little number on each shelf. So number one, number two, number three, all the way down to number six. Uh, we also keep enough space at the bottom of the actual shelving unit to be able to store uh, bins and things like that. So just so you know, so the bottom is about 15 and a half inches roughly. Uh, and it allows us to put the bins like what you see back there right behind it. Uh, these little black bins with the red lids, these are actually waiting to be refilled with dirt. But uh, works out great, so we can slide those right underneath there and still get six full uh, actual grow shelves out of each thing, which is really nice. So these are two that I built already. Um, yeah, so the one thing that we also do uh, is we zip tie everything down because the restaurant store shelves are actually a little bit bigger. So in traditional builds, you've seen, you know, this, this little piece here will typically hold uh, the light from moving around, but as you can see, it's really loose in there. So we basically end up zip tying this one end, which runs down to the opposite end, where then our loop, you know, wraps around and comes back through the other way. And then this basically loops in and we tie it through the hole there. And we actually zip tie it to the top of the shelf. So that way this wire is out of the way. And then that wire continues on, you know, to whatever switch it runs to and up into the uh, actual plug system. So really cool. So we tie those down, you know, tuck them in between here, basically inside the little holes. And then that way it's a nice clean install. There's no wires hanging down. There's no wires anywhere. Uh, so then the opposite end of it is basically going to be one regular wire and you can see we leave them a little bit loose If you tighten them too much, you can actually cause this to bend uh, Or this to bend too much and it'll actually cause an electrical issue So leave it a little bit, you know loose. It's not gonna hurt anything. It's still out of the way But then we just zip tie it down on that piece as well Also, it may not matter that much, but uh, we do use these particular zip ties. We get them on Amazon uh, buy them by the, the thousand pack. We've probably gone through about maybe five or six packs of these since we started. <laughs> so we use a lot of zip ties, obviously, on all the racks that we've already built before. Uh, but they're they're really heavy duty. They're probably way longer than they need to be, but they're definitely tough. We haven't broke a single one, which is really nice. We actually have to use pretty significant scissors to even cut them. Uh, but they work really good for this as well. And last but not least, this is totally optional. Uh, we use these Sterling shelf liners. They fit perfectly well on a uh, 24 inch by 48 inch, which is what we're actually using. I forgot to mention that earlier. So the shelves that we actually use are, are 24 inches deep by 48 inches long. And we like the fact that they're 24 inches deep because they'll actually fit uh, a tray on the shelving system really, really well. So as you can see, there's plenty of space on both ends. So that way the tray is sitting nice and flat across the whole thing. If you have an 18 inch shelf, it could be sitting up on top of these, which can cause a lot, you know, the ability for it to kind of flex in the middle. Not that big of a deal, but it's just what we prefer. So installing these shelf liners is really easy. Uh, there's a, a side that you can see kind of like that weird pattern on the back there. It's actually got a little bit of a sticky uh, side to it. So 
literally I'm just gonna take one of these guys. It's gonna be kind of hard to do with one hand, so I apologize. Just slide them on in here, and they pretty much interoperate in. So, and like I said, with the restaurant store shelves, they're a little bit bigger, so you get a little bit of a gap right here that you can slide the thing back and forth, so it's got a little bit of room for play. On some of the normal shelving units, these are gonna be really tight, which is, is totally fine. Uh, they just fit a little bit tighter, so that's how those go in, really simple. And this would be my argument for using shelf liners. So you can see how dirty these are. Uh, these are some empty shelves from last week's harvest, and they just get seed holes and all kinds of junk everywhere, and it just keeps that stuff from falling down into the shelf below. So there it is, a finished rack. Uh, it's got all the shelf liners on there now. We also do put one on the top shelf. Uh, it's probably not completely necessary, but we just do that mainly because we wanna make sure that no dust or anything from the ceiling falls down. That uh, allows us to also put storage up there as well, uh, just in case, so that way if anything falls off the bottom of that or falls off of it, then we can at least make sure it's not falling into the microgreens. But biggest thing is just wiring. Um, you know, we're big on wire management, like I said, so we do like a zip tie at the top and the bottom of each switch all the way down, um, which can be a little interesting because you've got all these different wires all coming up and down. But hopefully this can give you an idea. Uh, I will tell you that, you know, if you're doing it on this type of shelf, your bottom wire, this is gonna be the first shelf switch, is probably gonna end up like this. It's the only way it reaches all the way to the top, unfortunately. It's the one downside with this setup is that you'll have this one little wire sticking out because I can't pull that down far enough because the wire is not long enough. So unfortunately, that's the only negative. But other than that, this is how we've done it for a long, long time. It works great, uh, and I hope you guys learned something new. Thanks.